again with another video. In today's video, we will be doing the review to The Flash, season four, episode 12. Now, before we start the episode, and I wanna say that, again, this was another filler episode, but surprisingly, it was another good filler episode that didn't really, it didn't really tell us anything. Uh, you know, we haven't seen the DeVos since the court hearing. Um, Oh yeah, and do you know that both of them, Kim and Mr. Sandyland, I just know her name Kim, and I know his name is Mr. Sandyland, but they're both from South Africa. Like, isn't that great? Like, that's so dope. And because I was trying to pinpoint their accents, and I, for the life of me, I was like, it's not British, it's not Australian, it's not Scottish, you know, it's not German, it's... <laughs> they're from South Africa. So, I was like, okay. As I was saying, it was a filler episode, but it was actually a good filler episode. It was mainly about Joe and Cecile. Um, I think Joe and Cecile are like the runner-up couple next to Barry and Iris. And, you know, I was, I was okay with that because at least they made the episode funny. Like, it was enjoyable. You know, I was able to watch it without getting uh, bored all the way and, you know, kind of annoyed with the episode. It, I think it was overall an okay episode uh, for what it was. But, yeah, let's... let's um, Let's get right into it. So it starts off with Joe and Cecile, and like out of nowhere, just uh, Cecile. <laughs> it's, so it starts off with Joe and Cecile, and then out of nowhere, Cecile can read Joe's mind. Like out of out of nowhere. Like I don't know how many months she is. I don't know, you know, what trimester she is. I don't know none of that. Well, obviously she's in the first trimester, but I don't know like how many months she is, but. What I'm wondering is why did her powers all of a sudden come now? Like, why didn't it come as soon as she got pregnant? Why, what, what, how many weeks or months is she? Like, why did it start now? And, and another thing I'm wondering is, will Cecil, Cecil, oh my fucking God, I can't say this girl name. With Cecile having these powers, how will that affect Barry's case? Like, I feel like this is a weird way of trying to help Barry out like I don't I don't know like I don't I don't know what they're gonna do with Cecile reading minds like I'm pretty sure they're gonna spin it the right way but it's kind it was kind of weird already with with Cecile being the first one to get pregnant on the show that was already weird in itself and I was not here for it at first like <coughs> Like, I was not here for Cecile being pregnant at first. Like, I just didn't, I just didn't like it. And then now we have to deal with it. I, just, I feel like, okay. Because at first I was like, okay, she's going to get pregnant and she's going to leave the show and come back and have the baby. Because that's what they usually do when the, when the person that is pregnant on the show is not a main character. Um, you know, but... This seems like we're going through with this whole pregnancy thing and now to see that she has powers because of the pregnancy, I'm just wondering how that's gonna affect the narrative of the story this season. Heart rate's 170 BPM and there's no sign of dark matter in the amniotic fluid. So the baby's not a meta? Nope, it's a perfectly normal baby. Girl. You were gonna say baby girl. I was hoping that it was a girl. Because in the comic books, Iris' sister is Charlotte. I didn't even know Iris had a sister. Iris' sister is Charlotte and her brother is Rudy West. So Charlotte West and Rudy West and then Iris West. Iris is, I don't know if Iris the oldest or the middle, blah, 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 blah. But people are saying it's, it's either going to be Charlotte or Danielle West. I don't, I don't know where the Danielle's coming from. Comment down below if you know where Danielle comes from in the comic books. The baby is not a meta, then where did these powers come from? Nope, I wasn't on the bus. No, I was not abducted by aliens. No, I didn't inherit a mystic totem from my grandma. Really, guys? Why are you still thinking about Bulbasaur? I like Bulbas Bulbasaur. Bulbas I love Bulbasaur. I can't even say the nigga name. I like that thing, but my favorite was Squarter. Squarter, Squarter. Or was Bulbasaur Squarter? Was Bulbasaur Squirter? But I like Squirter, Squirter, and I like Pikachu! I'm a weirdo, I know. I didn't like Pokemon like that though. I was totally, I was totally here for Dragon Ball Z. I was totally here for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was totally here for Jackie Chan Adventures. I, didn't, I wasn't a Pokemon fan like that. I only watched Pokemon to just, you know, when you were a kid and you watched WB, it's just whatever was on, that's what you would watch. 
but I wasn't a big fan of Pokemon like that. I thought it was weird. Like, I just thought it was weird. Like, where are their parents at? Like, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Read them and weep, boys. That's and I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seemed like Barry having hella fun up in, in prison. Like, he got his friends, you know? That's the same guy from season one who uh, tried to uh, rob Barry and then he came back again for season four, episode six with Ralph and he shot him in the butt. Yeah. Hey, pudding is bomb, bro. I used to like, I ate, I remember I ate the brown kind so much that I stopped liking it and I started going to the white kind. Sue me. And they don't even know. That's tight. That was tight. I love when they do scenes like that where it's like everybody's still and he the only one moving. And might I say that Barry looks so... Like, I don't understand what people... Like, I've seen so many people say that they do not like Grant with facial hair. I don't know what y'all talking about because he looks good. Okay? He looks good with facial hair. Like, what man you know in the universe that don't look good with a beard? Like, a man's beard is women's makeup. Like, don't, like, shave that beard off and I bet you you won't look the same. Okay? I think he look good with or without the beard, but he look... <laughs> He looking good with that scruff. I'm just saying, he just, he look good. He do. Okay, so we find out that Goldberg didn't really kill anybody. He was set up, he was framed like Roger Rabbit. I hate that movie, by the way. Um, blah, blah, blah. And you know, it, I think now since they said it, Goldberg said it, this other lady said it, I think it's now starting to become a, an ongoing joke uh, for the Flash that they hate Central City. They said it twice in the episode and I think, <laughs> they said it twice in the episode and I think that it's just going to be an ongoing joke of the, the batter the villains get because uh, they were saying, I hate Central City. Oh my gosh, it's just, you need to get out of town. It just sucks. And I'm like, y'all should have been left when y'all heard that it was metahumans in, the, in, uh, in Central City. Like, you know, Arrow, he don't really deal with metahumans. Supergirl was like light and airy and boring. The Flash is the only one that be really getting tight villains. You know what I'm saying? Like that. No, I think Supergirl's villain for this season is pretty cool. Like it's a woman, women empowerment, feminist, woo! You know, and I don't really watch Arrow. But, yeah, and then Legends Tomorrow is not on yet. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I, you know, people should have been left Central City. Like, explosions always happening. Speed Force always coming and ruining stuff. Speedsters everywhere. Taking people's purses and kids and stuff. Like, y'all should just leave. Just leave. One thing I gotta say about Arrow is that I noticed. I try to give Arrow another chance and watch it over. I started where I left off, which was like season three. And one thing I noticed about Arrow is a lot of backs. B-A-C-K. S. Backs. Like, a lot of people backs is being shown. Like, why is there so many backs? Like, people with their shirt off. Like, I didn't notice how many people are not clothed on the show Arrow until I really sat down and watched it and compared it to the show The Flash. The Flash, the only thing they be showing is wrists and, you know, a little bit behind the ear and the neck, you know. They don't really be showing that much on, on The Flash. But on Arrow, it'd be a whole bunch of backs, strong backs, small backs, fat backs, black backs, white backs, muscular backs, skinny backs, like just a whole bunch of backs. And I'd be like, why is there so many backs? Like, we don't get backs on The Flash. We haven't seen not one person back on The Flash. Like, but I ain't complaining. I got tired of seeing the backs on Arrow. So, you know, I'm cool with it. She is so happy to be here. What are you doing here? I needed a helper in. That is so cute because she's 
she's so short. She like 5'11". 5'11". She like 4'11". And he like 6'4 or something. Now that I'm a meta. Baby, you're not a meta. I can hear every one of these people. Dark matter definitely left its mark here. I figured as much. That patrolman right there. He is cheating on his wife. Oh, I hate cheetahs. Yeah, you kind of don't trust. You have a sexy goatee. He has a creeper mustache. Joe does have a sexy goatee. He does have a creeper mustache. Oh, that man looks like George Clooney. All the way over here. And that lady right there, Joe. Joe, she is a thief. Thief! Staplers. She's been stealing them out of her office for months now. She damn near cleaned out the supply closet. Baby, huh? I love you. I... Huh? <laughs> she said, huh? You want me to go? Uh, I, don't, I don't want you to go. No, no, no. Hey, it's just because you want to do your job. I totally get it. Go. Stop crying. Yeah, I didn't care about the rest of that. Oh, yeah. Did you guys know that they put cars? Effing three on Netflix. I'm about to watch this right after I finish making this video for you guys. <coughs> Cause it's good. Oh, you have no idea what Harry was talking about. Or what anyone around here is ever talking about. <laughs> I gotta call Barry. Okay. I can hear you, Iris, and there is nothing wrong with me and Joe. Right, yes, totally. It's just that if you ever, you know, think there is something wrong, I, I know someone who could help. That's all. They look alike. I'm tired of this pretty little old lady. This lady be, do you notice that this lady be available for them every time they call her? Oh, my shift just got, oh, my appointment just got canceled twice. Oh, yeah, come right in. I feel like she in on something. She knows something that they don't know. She working with the DeVos. Cause she is one of the foes. Oh, I rhyme. Ah. Tell me more about the, the symptoms. Oh, Cecile's pregnant. She looks cute pregnant. Cause she's so, you know, she's Where of Joe's thoughts. Like I, like I read his diary. A diary? Your pregnancy made you read Joe's diary? What do you mean you're taking his side? I don't take sides. You just think that I'm in the wrong. Uh, I would never Maybe think. This is a bad idea. No, 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 babe. No, we're not. We're not done here. Therapy scares you, and you don't like this woman here and all your business. Cecile, I, that just, that, that's not true. And now you just want to go. You think this whole thing is a waste of time. Cecile, stop. You're thinking about a pink elephant over and over. <laughs> pink elephant, pink elephant, pink elephant, pink elephant. That's funny. You know what? That reminds me of. True Blood went on True Blood, even though it was a more serious show. But True Blood, the first season finale, um, cause Suki, she could read, uh, she could read people's minds or whatever. And it was this guy who was killing people who communicated or who liked vampires. And so, like, she was reading his mind. He kept saying, uh, pink, 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 blah, 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 in his mind. <laughs> and it was, I don't know, just, forget it. Okay, so we're about to watch this cute little scene just because Barry say something cute and it was cute, so let's watch it. Hey, look, I spent most of my life in love with a girl who was way out of my league. Now she's my wife. Sometimes things do end up like in the movies. <laughs> they don't, but right here they did, honey. Yes, I was like, you better say that. Say that to somebody, to anybody, to the world. Just go to random people and say that. That was cute. That part was cute. Coming in hot. Oh, hey, you didn't have to do all that. Listen, Listen I did not inherit my dad's skills in the kitchen, but a decaf herbal tea, that I can do. I don't believe, pause. Now, okay. I'm kind of say this without trying to come off, you know, aggressive. But I do not believe that Iris, okay, one of us, she's, you know, she's not, she's, cannot cook. I just don't, I don't believe it. I don't, but like, I don't, I don't. Like, black people, we know how to cook, okay? And okay, for example, okay, black people may not know how to cook. Like, oh, I 
I can throw that in the kitchen. But we have a signature. Like my sister-in-law, she she you know she could cook, but her specialty is eggs. She could do eggs. She could do eggs all day. My brother, his specialty is breakfast. He could do a little sausage. He could do a little egg. You know, my mom's specialty, her specialty is greens. Like black stuff, you don't have to know how to cook, but I bet you you know a specialty. I can't cook. But I got a recipe that nobody else can make but me, bruh. And everybody like it and everybody eat it. So don't try to tell me that I just don't know how to cook one thing. That is a lie. That is a lie. She is a black woman. She is African American. She know how to cook, okay? The actress know how to cook. The actress probably be throwing down some potato salad. She probably, she looked like she could make a mean potato salad. And she looked like she don't leave the chunks. She looked like the one that mash, that mashes all the way good in. Because I hate potato salad with the chunks. Anyway. Yeah. They cook. And, and in the episode, I don't feel like watching the scene no more. But in the episode, the last scene with Joe and Cecile. Uh, Cecile tells Joe, like, pretty much everything embarrassing that then whatever. Everything she basically wants to tell Joe. And she tells Joe, like... Basically, Joe, your grandma Esther noodles is nasty. Of course they nasty. You know why they nasty? Because black people don't eat noodles. We eat pasta. You know, we go to an Italian food place and let them make it for us. Or, or you know, black people, we make spaghetti. And, and we don't make the spaghetti like, oh, we make our sauce and you put the sauce in the spaghetti. And the, no, we make pan spaghetti where the spaghetti is already made. You sprinkle the cheese on top and you put it in the oven and you pop it out. And we make the homemade garlic bread and the homemade Caesar salad. That's the type of spaghetti we make. That's the noodles that come to my mind. But other than that, black people don't eat noodles like that. When it comes to noodles, that ain't no black person favorite. The only time we eat noodles like that is Top Ramen, and they 59 cent at the 99 cent store, and we only eat it when we can't afford nothing else. I'm just saying, black people don't black people don't don't eat no noodles. If anything, they should have said at least baked chicken. We could get away with baked chicken. It didn't have to be fried chicken. It could at least be baked, boiled. Broiled, I said boiled, broiled, you know, some, it could have been, it could have been, it, it, it could have been macaroni salad, it could have been mac and cheese, it, 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 it could have been potato salad, it could have been yams, it could have been green, it could have been collard greens, it could have been green beans, it could have been black and peas, black eyed, black eyed peas, it could have been rice and beans, it could have been something like, you know, it didn't have to be noodles, I'm just saying, I mean, they've been saying this since season one, but it's, you know, I'm just now saying something now, you know. I'm just saying that they know damn well noodles. <laughs> and they ain't even describing noodles. For all we know, it could be garlic, garlic butter noodles. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying, we don't make that stuff. If anything, she probably made a dessert. Like pecan pie. Ooh, some pecan pie. I could throw down some pecan pie. You know? <laughs> for all I know is, for Thanksgiving, they probably got the West making pumpkin pie. We don't make, black people don't make pumpkin pie, baby. We make sweet potato pie. We make apple pie. We make pecan pie. And then we make a whole bunch of cakes like red velvet. That's black people's favorite cake to make is red velvet cake. They love making red velvet cake. You know what else is good? Okay, let me stop. <laughs> okay, let's continue. If it's okay with you, I just was wondering if I could talk to you about Joe. Um, yeah, of course. It's okay. Oh, no, honey, it's it's not about that. We have zero problems. You know, pause again. Why would Iris think that Cecile would come to Joe's daughter to talk about their sex life? I mean, is it on her mind that much? Like, why would you, like, you see they having problems. Do you think sex would be one of their problems? I mean, the girl is pregnant. Like, why would they have a problem with that? I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I was like, if anything, she could probably tell. Okay, now I'm going so far. Okay, let's keep going. Um, something that has been uh, kind of bothering me throughout this whole series is what they were going to do with, excuse me, what they were going to do with Caitlyn's character and what they were going to do with Wally's character. Obviously, we already seen what they did with Wally's character. They kind of booted him all the way to Legends. Um, and I didn't want either one for... For either of them, you know, um, I, well, obviously, Caitlyn's character is a higher profile than Wally's. Um, so, yeah, he's off to Legends. But with Caitlyn, at Comic-Con, they made it seem like 
she was gonna get like finally gonna get her own arc finally gonna be that character that didn't need a male character to make her character important you know what i'm saying like like every season caitlin dated someone kissed someone in the mouth but yet still talking about ronnie and i just couldn't understand that like obviously she's still not over her dead husband but yet y'all have her with zoom then y'all had her with julian and you know and i was just glad that you know her and ralph never didn't like okay good but I'm like, they're not really doing anything with her character, you know, with the whole Killer Frost thing. She comes out, but yet, like, we only get to see her for about five seconds. You know, the first two episodes were very, uh, they were, they were good. I, th I felt like Caitlyn's character got a, got a good enough screen time, but now it seems like after the crossover episode, they're not really talking about her character. They're not really diving into her Killer Frost side. They're not really explaining anything about her. Uh, I, I just feel like all she doing really is medical, medical, talking about medical, biology, chemistry. Oh my God, what's going on? Okay, let's get Barry out. Like, they're not really, it's not really about, you know, anything about her. Honestly, I feel like Harry and Cisco get more screen time than her. Like, you know, and, and they're just arguing half the time. So I'm like, when is Caitlyn gonna finally, like, Caitlyn is kind of on the back burner right now. Um... I'm just wondering when, you know, they'll pick it up again for her character. Gotta go faster, gotta go faster. Do you wanna try this thing? And if you remote, remember, when Rundin tries to shrink the van, you've got to get in the path of his blast. Do you understand? Copy that. We're heading into the hangar now. I like the little kitty voice. Uh, guys, I think he sees us. You're not getting big again. Only one minute till the boys go nuclear. I don't want to explode. That's what she did the whole episode. Be on the sidebar. I'm gonna shrink you down to the subatomic level, boy. Oh, is that right? Who is you calling a boy, sir? He is a man. I'd like to see you he try. is a grown man with glasses. Oh, he, he could have shot him again, obviously. Honestly, he, he could have just easily shot him again. Until Iris came on the scene and fucked that nigga up! <laughs> I'm big again. I'm big again. I like Ralph's character. He's growing on me. He growing. Markets. <sighs> Sorry again about stepping on you. Hey, you saved me a trip to the chiropractor. <laughs> Because they gotta keep 
you know, their hair, their baldness intact. You know, they can't be having no bumps and bruises. And then they can't be having no, like, stubble. So, I be like, I've never met a bald-headed man that didn't smell good and didn't keep his kids intact, his wife intact, his car intact, his body intact, his clothes intact. And they always smell good. You know, I didn't like this bald-headed man. He was, he, I didn't like him. Very, he, uh... He took Goldberg to Chinatown, and he let him get all the umbrellas he want, whatever. Um, so let's watch this last scene with a uh, cold black man. On your feet, inmate. Is there a problem, Warden? As you know, inmate Ratchet mysteriously disappeared last night. Where do you think he went? Damn, he looked good with that beard on. I mean, damn security camera footage. Did you know the oscillating cameras aren't the only ones in this wing? Hmm? Once you started stroking inmate Ratchet's hopes of freedom, I had a camera installed right by your cell. Damn, I would've punched him real quick in the face like that. That camera, I learned who you truly are. I don't know what you're talking about. Then let me be specific. Goddamn, it's over. You know, and, and I don't know how Barry gonna get out of this. I really don't. Run. You're clearly already feeling the effects of the drug cocktail I put in that snack you so seem to enjoy. A drug cocktail. Why did everybody try to do Barry like that? Like, why can't he just live his life? Like, I'm tired of this. No, I'm not. But why? I do not like Mr. Lionsgate man. Like, he is me. It was 1092, I think. So y'all remember that code so y'all can get Barry out. 1092. Or 1952. That'll be all. really messed up and nobody from his family is gonna know where he is that's messed up call you when i was ready to do business hello warden do you have another fish to sell i love amulet she reminds me so much of cameron diaz i don't know what it is it's her face i just like her i like her character you know she's one of those like annoying people that i like but yeah i really enjoyed that episode it was light it was airy it was funny except for the last part uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to like and subscribe and remember Man Crush Monday, Woman Crush Wednesday. Why men great so they gotta be great? Woo. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch.